Let's welcome Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Hi. Welcome to my episode today. It's great to have you. Uh, I understand that you are also a hobby baker during your free time, and that's very interesting. So what's your advice to the viewers about having breaks and taking care of our own mental health? Um, I think social media right now, it's um, currently, uh, everybody needs to get on social media to follow trends and, and uh, patterns. But I find that we need to break out of the social media system, go into mm-hmm. a digital detox, mm-hmm. and focus more on our well-being, like basking in nature, going for walks. And I'm a strong advocate for meditations. Meditations help in clearing of the mind when you have too much thoughts. You know, in this mm-hmm. information cluttered world, mm-hmm. there's so much information that is being cluttered in our mind. And many people just let it stay in our mind rather than let it go out of it. Yeah. Therefore, I think I should advise that um we should practice mindfulness meditation now and then. And um once in a while, like cut down on social media. I wouldn't say uh, I wouldn't tell your viewers to uh cut down fully, but just you know maybe probably go on like a hiatus on social media for one or two weeks and be yourself in like just be yourself through uh resting, uh, doing your own hobby such as like for me is baking, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. reading. So it's a more productive way rather than scrolling on social media and yep. there's too much um noise out there we need to yeah. break out of the noise and focus more on our peace of mind I believe we all should have a peace of mind at the end mm-hmm. of the day so we can mm-hmm. help other people to we can uh, we can help other people to find their own clarity too if we don't mm-hmm. have our own clarity we cannot help others to find their own clarity too in a way so mm-hmm. I would so I, I would recommend digital detox and going out for walks would be a helpful way. Yeah, right. basking in nature. Nature would be a best way to keep your mind calm. Mm-hmm. And in this uh noisy world, nature would be a best way to do yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh even in Singapore context, because people like to say it's a very concrete jungle, right? Yeah. But actually Singapore has very lovely parks. I mean Marichi Reservoir walk is so nice. Even further down uh little Guiling, people forget about that place and Labrador Park. And then of course for viewers in other parts of the world, like myself in the Netherlands, I'm lucky that uh, there's a lot of greenery out there as well. And and uh, yeah, if you are in Southeast Asia, weather is not an excuse because you can actually wake up really early when it's not so warm to uh, absorb the morning dew. Actually, it's really good for the body. And I like what you say about uh, digital detox because um, from what I have read and also uh, exposed to younger generation, uh, they are pe- they are slowly moving away from FOMO, fear of missing out, to getting on JOMO, the joy of missing out. And I really like that because they uh because actually FOMO is not so much for young people, but every one of us has this innate uh insecurity and tendency to compare ourselves uh with others uh socially, and we seek to understand better who we are and our place in the world. And then with all these digital influx, we kind of get uh, overwhelmed. So I like the fact that more and more people are now adopting JOMO, J-O-M-O, Joy of uh, Missing Out. Because uh, And they did what you just described, switching it off, switching off from social media uh, a few days, a week, take time off. And in fact, it actually is going uh, to benefit you a lot mentally as well as physically. So researchers have uh, surveyed social media users over the next two days about their emotional experiences and found that not surprisingly, People who are stressed by losing access to their social media actually find a sense of relief and even positive feelings when they switch themselves off from social media. So that's uh, something to consider. And it's easy, actually. You are right. Just go back to your hobby. Do what you love. So social thank- media is not mm-hmm. every- 
everything. Content no. is not everything. There's more to life than just social media. And that's what people are currently uh, missing out right now. You have yeah. to be present in the moment and not be present in the virtual moment. So right. not everything needs to be on the gram, on TikTok. Yeah, right. so I feel that yeah, we need to be more present and be more present with our own friends and family. I think that's what's more important than being virtually online. Mm, yeah, because comparison is the thief of joy and you wouldn't want to mm. compare yourself with your counterparts as that will lower down your self-esteem. Therefore, a digital detox is the best way to focus on your your needs and your desires and that's what I strongly advocate about on mm-hmm. social media. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great, great, great. Although content like this YouTube, which is educational, uh, is good for you, but uh, it doesn't mean that you stay online for more than an hour and two hours. So this short episode is uh, uh, something that we would want to go out and remind people to take time off for yourself. So let's, uh, well, let's round this up with a last question for you. If you are given a magic wand, what would you like to change and why? Okay, for me, I always tell people that uh, change is not an overnight thing. Rather, it's a gradual process. So for me, I wouldn't say I want to change things, but I would hope that people would be more enthusiastic in terms of um, investing in charities and mm-hmm. not so, I mean, not be so like... Uh, isolated in their own world Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I think there's a lack of interest in the area of philanthropy right now and I think Mm -hmm. it's very hard to get people to come on board because of the lack of enthusiasm Mm. so yeah it's more of that and I feel that cancel culture should not be should not exist in this uh, current society as it only just um it only creates more chaos in the world. And I feel mm-hmm. find that we all need to learn to accept people for their mistakes. As after all, we are all still human beings. Mm-hmm. And we need to learn to forgive them for them, for mm-hmm. their own wrong things. After all, everybody deserves a like a second chance. Mm-hmm. And not just dumb down for their mistakes and uh using social media as a tool to cancel them out entirely from the society i hope that can be also a change in mm. in society right now but of course yeah. all this takes uh t- takes time i mean it takes time for conviction it takes time for petitions to you know take all this out of the society mm. because these are after all external right. rather than internal so people look at external validation more than the internal validation right so that's right. what is lacking in the current society very nice and I'm so proud of you you know to hear this from our younger generation gives me hope that uh, the world with people like you advocating all this positive uh, sharing with us encouraging philanthropy etc I really feel that um, the world can indeed move on to be a kinder place so thank you very much, Elaine, uh, for being with us today and sharing all this wonderful uh, knowledge and awareness to us, but also reminding people to take time off for themselves, uh, to pursue uh, what they believe in. So it's been great, a pleasure having you. Thank you so much. Yep, detox from uh, social media, but content like this on YouTube is educational. It's short and you get to learn a lot from our esteemed guests. Until next time, take care and keep exploring. Bye. Thanks, Elaine.